Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up dark mode in Mac OS. So right now, when you open up a browser, you'll notice that this is the light mode. So how do, would you make it a dark mode? Well, to do so, simply open up settings, and then click over on general, and then navigate to where it says dark in appearance, click the dark button, and now it's in dark mode. So now when you open up your web browser again, you'll notice that the theme is dark. And if you search something, let's say you were to search some, uh, yeah, sure, let's just search info marketers. You'll notice that at least the toolbar is dark. So how would you make the, the background actually dark? Well, to do so, what you would do is you want to make sure you have the dark reader extension installed. And with this extension, you can toggle between dark mode and light mode. So right now dark mode is on and you can see now that not only is the toolbar dark, but as but the background is dark as well. Another thing to notice is that this new tab page is blank. And that is because I have the new tab extension installed. If you were to disable this extension, so navigate to settings and go to uh, oh, actually, go to extensions over here. I'm using the Edge browser. Then you'll notice that uh, this empty news tab, if I did not enable it, then you'll notice it has a background here. So what I do with this empty new tab extension is I turn it on. That way, whenever there's a new tab, it's blank and completely uncluttered. That way I can focus. Now, setting up the dark mode works not only on the Microsoft Edge browser, but as well on Chrome. So if you have Chrome, for example, the dark mode would look something like this. And if you search something like something, then this is dark mode as well because I have the dark reader extension. Now, you also notice that this new tab page is uncluttered and completely blank. And that is because I have the new, the empty new tab extension installed on the right hand side. The good part about this extension is that it allows you to have a blank page. You'll also notice that over here on the top right, I've set my icon to be transparent and, and that way uh, that way it matches the same color as the background and you won't get distracted by your own um, personal profile icon. So it's dark right now, but if I were to go into settings for example, and change the theme to be light theme, then Google Chrome over here changes the icon on the top right to light to light color as well. So I'll go back to setting and change it back to dark. You'll notice that my icon is, uh, is the same color as the background. Now we've dealt with Microsoft Edge as well as Chrome, but this works for Firefox as well. So Firefox, how does the dark mode look like? Well, the dark mode looks just like this, and the reason why um, the reason why it's dark is because we have the dark mode settings set to dark over here um, in general in general settings, as well as because we have the dark reader on. So that way, if you search a new some information such as dark mode, for example, you're gonna notice that if you have this and you toggled it to be off then only the toolbar is dark, but we want everything to be dark. So make sure dark reader is on as well as um, the dark theme to be on in settings. So another thing to note to have this blank um, new tab page in Firefox, you wanna make sure that inside of the preferences, if you search for a new tab, you'll notice over here it says for my settings, it's Firefox home and Firefox home for home page and new tabs. So if you go to the home page settings, you'll notice that I have the Firefox home content unchecked. So if normally when you have it on in, uh, when you have Firefox open, a new tab page would look something like this. It has the top sites recommended by pocket and all this junk that clutters up the screen. So if you want to get rid of that, simply just uncheck all of these contents. And then when you open up a new tab, it'll be completely blank. So we've gone over uh, Microsoft Edge Google Chrome as well as Firefox. Let's cover the Safari browser itself. 
Now with the Safari browser itself, this is how dark mode looks like. And if you open up a new tab, it looks like this. But this is how it lo looks like. But if you were to search something such as dark mode, then you'll notice the background here is still um, is still white. And if you want to get the dark reader extension on the Safari browser, what you need to do is to go over to App Store and then search for the dark reader. And you'll find this extension here. The catch is that it costs five dollars on the on the App Store. So if you really want to use a dark reader extension, you're probably better off using any of the other browsers such as Google Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge because dark mode is free for every every browser except for Safari. And the reason why I think it costs five dollars here is because it costs money to put your app on the Safari on the on the App Store. All right, it costs money to put your Mac app on the Apple App Store, Apple Mac Store. At least, well, what I meant to say is that it costs more to put your uh, app on a on the this app store than it does on the Google Google Chrome Web Store, which is uh, Google Chrome Web Store. Yeah, so this is a Google Chrome Web Store. Okay, um, you can navigate to the actual web store itself, but the Google Chrome Web Store it charges a flat fee for you to put an app here as well as for like Android and those things but I believe the the Mac App Store charges a subscription for putting your app up here that's why they have to charge you five dollars so that is how dark wo dark mode works on your Mac OS hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it leave a like um, I'm using a Safari browser as well or no, not I'm you. Yeah, over here in Safari, you'll notice that my uh, DuckDuckGo logo. This is the DuckDuckGo search engine. So if you want the dark mode, DuckDuckGo has a theming option where you can set it to dark. That way, um, if you reload the page, the it'll be dark mode. But the catch for this is that if you were to go to any other website, the dark mode wouldn't apply. So this um, dark mode only applies to this DuckDuckGo page itself. I know that YouTube also has a has a dark mode. So if you were to go to like let's say youtube.com, which takes a while, right? You'll notice that over here YouTube has a dark dark mode as well. I believe that um, Reddit also has a dark mode. So let's go over to Reddit. Um, so over here, yeah, there's a night mode. But in general, if you want a a a you want a browser-wide uh, dark mode that works for every single website, then I would recommend something like something like the this dark reader extension. Yeah. So that's all I cover in this video. Hope you enjoyed um, this video on how to add dark mode on your Mac OS computer.